Welcome to the Automation Zone, a video series brought to you by Miracle's RPA Center of Excellence. Hi, and welcome to Automation Zone series. I'm Tejashree Midiala from Miracle Innovation Labs. Today, I would like to discuss on processing unstructured documents and Citrix automation using AI computer vision and UI path. These are the concepts which I'm going to cover in this video like computer vision and its importance, features of computer vision, intelligent document processing using CV, and differences between OCR and CV, and why VBI automation needs CV, and advantages of computer vision followed by live demo. Let us move on to our first slide. In this slide, I'm going to discuss about computer vision and its importance. As we know that robot needs to be able to see everything we are automating, so, what do we do about on-screen elements that are invisible to robots? Here is a solution that AI computer vision which solves this problem. By using AI skill, it helps UiPath robots to see every element on the screen, even we can automate tasks on VDI environments, regardless of its frameworks. Mainly, CV uses a mix of techniques which enable robots to automatically recognize the on-screen elements. Let's see the features of CV. One of the main features that to be noted is that while using the CV activities in our project, we need to assign API key obtained from the cloud platform. In the API key field is the computer vision project settings property category. And AI computer vision pack contains UI automation activities. The main difference between the CV activities and their classical counterparts is their usage of CV neural network developed in-house by machine learning department. And computer vision is created mainly for automating virtual desktop environments such as Citrix machines. By making use of it, the issue of unreliable selectors is solved. We will see in depth regarding it in one more slide. Let's see how the document processing is done using CV in an intelligent way. As you see here, there are five stages like capture, recognize, classify, validate, and integrate. In the capture stage, we will input the data sources to extract the data that we need. And in the recognize stage, we will recognize the fields that to be extracted from the inputs given in the first stage. And in the classify stage, we will classify the applications based on the image, video, or silver light. And in the validate stage, data that is recognized in the second stage are extracted based on anchor validations. And finally, in the integrate stage, the extractor data is sent to the target systems where they need to be used. All these stages are done by the use of computer vision. As we discussed earlier, it is a mix of techniques like OCR, ML, and text fuzzy matching. Let's see the differences between OCR and CV. Actually, they look alike, but there is a huge difference between them. When coming to OCR, it is a technology that primarily aims to analyze an image, detect based on patterns. If the image contains text and extracts the text into a machine-readable format, but while coming to CV, it utilizes OCR along with AI in order to identify fields from a specified image. As we know, OCR is completely based on the image. The automation is done based on the images on the UI, and if those images slightly changes, with the structure, then OCR won't be reliable in those situations. But if this, if they remain same, they are reliable. But by using CV activities, it helps us to identify the image elements as an individual element by like human-like recognition, which is far more reliable than OCR. Then coming to OCR, it doesn't require network to be in server, while CV requires network to be in server because if the server is down, it may raise an issue like server cannot be reached and results in bot failure. This might not happen in OCR. Let's see why VDI automation needs CV. As we discussed earlier, like CV is also useful for automating VDI environments to solve selectors issue, right? Let me explain how it happens. Firstly, they send images of the window via automating to the neural network where the windows will be analyzed and all the UI elements are identified individually. Now, by use of smart anchors, the exact location of the UI element is found. In this way, robots make it possible 
to accurately recognize the selectors for the VDI environments. Let's see the advantages of computer vision. Let me discuss each of it. Firstly, automation beyond selectors. Here, robots recognize and interact with more on-screen fields and components, even uh, flash, PDFs and images. Next, reliable on VDIs and desktops. Here, relies issues with failure-prone image automation techniques and with selector-based targetings on desktops. Cross-platform capabilities. Here, supports automation on Windows, Linux, Android, and other operating systems too. Drag and drop AI. You don't need to know advanced image recognition techniques. The recorder can generate full vision-based automations. Intelligent capabilities. Like the on-screen wizard provides details, validations, and notifications about on-screen selections. See more interface types. Includes virtual desktop environments like Citrix, VMware, VNC for desktop and web applications. Automation between VDI and non-VDI. Simplifies VDI to desktop automation by reducing necessary modifications. Lastly, multiple development options. Here, SaaS are available on-premises for Linux and Windows deployments. Now, we will see the live demos on computer vision. This is the demo for extracting data from an unstructured PDF using computer vision in UiPath. Initially, I would like to show you of the three PDFs has been present, uh, where the field positions of one PDF differ from the other. This is the first PDF. If you see the fields are present at the first page of the PDF itself, that is date, ID, and and address. Let's move to the second PDF. This is the second PDF. As you see, the field values are not present at the first page of the second PDF. While we navigate to the second page of the second PDF, you will be seeing the field positions like date, ID, enrollee, and address towards the right side. Now let's move to the third PDF. Again, as you see, like before, the field values are not present at the first page. As you navigate to the second page of the third PDF, you will be seeing the field values of date, ID, enrollee, or address towards the left side. Let us move to the UiPath Studio to automate the process. This is a UiPath Studio. This is a workflow for our process. Let's run our task. This is the first PDF in the folder. In this PDF, the fields are present on the right side of the first page. Based on the CV element access activity, if the element is found, it extracts data from the page where the cursor is present. Otherwise, it will navigate to the page where the element will be found. As you see, the data is present at the first page of the PDF itself. It is not navigating to the second page. Now here, the data is being extracted based on the anchor and placed in the Excel. Now, in the looping manner, again, the second PDF has been opened. As we discussed before, the field positions are not present at the first page of the PDF. Based on the CV element access activity, it will be checking for the element and it, it will be navigating. As you see, it is navigated, navigating to the second page of the second PDF. Now, this is the second page of the second PDF. Now, the data is being extracted from this page as an extractor data is placed in the Excel. Now the third PDF has been opened. When compared to those two PDFs, here the field positions are on the left side of the second page of the PDF. As we see, the field values are not present at the first page of the PDF. It is navigating to the page where the field values will be present based on the CV element access activity. Now the second page of the third PDF has been arrived. Uh, now the data is being extracted, which is placed at the left side of the second page of the third PDF. The data is being extracted here based on the anchor. Now the extracted data has been placed in the Excel. Let me show you the Excel where the data has been stored. This is the Excel sheet where the extracted data has been stored. Extracted data is enrollee, ID value, and address. Uh, these all the field values are jumbled in the PDFs. Finally, in this way, we can extract the data from PDFs by using computer vision. The main advantage of it is whether the field value position changes from one PDF to another PDF, which are of same pattern, you can extract them accurately by using computer vision activities. Now let's have one more demo on extracting data from a Citrix environment by using computer vision in UiPath. Initially, I would like to show you a virtual machine, which is open in my local system. 
Now we are going to automate the process by using CV activities in UiPath to extract the data that is present in the VM by running the code in our local system. Let's move to our UiPath Studio to automate the process. This is the studio and this is the workflow for our process. Let's run our task. Clicking on the run file. We started clicking the icon in the desktop of the VM that is SAP Logon. It started logging into the SAP GUI. Whole process is done by the robot as we trained it previously in the UiPath Studio. Now it will be clicking on the EMS server and it will be entering the username and password here. As you see, username is being entered and even the password. Now it will be navigating to this page. Here the transaction code will be entered, that is ME23N. Now it navigated to this page, that is standard PO module. Now it will extract some of the data from here, like standard PO, vendor name, company name, street, postal code, and region. Here data is being extracted based on the anchor. And the extracted data is placed in the Excel and now it is closing the EMS server. Now it is coming out of the SAP logon. Let me show you the Excel sheet where the data has been stored. This is the Excel sheet where our data has been stored. That is standard PO, vendor name, company name, street, postal code and region. All this data that is present in that particular page has been extracted accurately by using computer vision activities. As we discussed earlier, like CV is mainly for automation BD environments. As we know, RPA depends on robots ability to see CV electors to see selectors on a web page or computer interface. But VDIs makes it impossible for robots to accurately recognize the selectors they need to see. By using CV activities, the issue of unreliable selectors is solved. In this way, we can extract the data from the VM from our local system using CV activities. Even by using those activities, we can extract the data from the image too. Thank you. Thank you for watching the Automation Zone, a video series brought to you by Miracles RPA Command Center. For more about automation, please visit miraclesoft.com/rpa.